Hey, what up guys? My name is HB and today I'm here to show you how to create a Hoover bass sound for producers who want to achieve that retro 90s rave sound. So let's go. Okay, so this sound is very simple to make. Uh, basically what we have is three oscillators starting with uh, the sub oscillator. We have a triangle, uh, octave set to minus one, the level is a default. Now we have oscillator A, we have uh, uh, a saw wave, four voices. The two min stays at uh, 0 0.25. And then oscillator B, uh, one plus uh, uh, octave. And then we have three voices and the two min at 0 0.4. I also dropped a little bit of the level here to uh, 65%. Uh, this is because oscillator A is the main oscillator here. Uh, and basically this is it. Now we do have an LFO that gives us a little bit of movement. Basically what it is, it just uh, modulates the, uh, the master treatment. So you go here, global, master treatment. I put this at one and the strength at 20. So it gives us a little bit of movement. So basically this is the whole sound. Now, the reason why it sounds that way is because we also have something that modulates the whole pitch of the sound. But the way I approach this, uh, uh, this way of making this type of sound is by manually drawing the, uh, the pitch automation onto the MIDI clip. Now, I, in order to do so, I needed to uh, set here the, uh, the band range uh, minus 12 and plus 12 so I can have uh, a room to play with it. So all I did is just went here. Let me close Serum for a second. And if we go here to uh, Envelopes, we go here to the MIDI control, we have the pitch band. Now this is the, the pitch automation that I draw. So as you can see here, it starts from down, goes up real quick, and then moves to, uh, to zero, which is the, uh, the, 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 the normal pitch of the sound. And then it goes down a little bit, and then it repeats itself. So I like to do it this way. The reason why is because it gives me more control over the, uh, the sound instead of doing it with LFOs, it kind of limits what, what, what you can do. Uh, and I know that a lot of also a lot of, uh, dubstep producers use this technique when they're making their, uh, uh, bass sounds, because once again, it gives you more control over the phrasing of what you're trying to do. So this is why I do it this way. Um, I think it's better than using LFOs. But once again, as I told you guys, very simple. If we go back to Serum, let's listen to what we have uh, one more time, which is the final sound. There's no effects here. Let's hear what, what we have. Okay, and that's it. Hopefully this was helpful for you guys. Let me know in the comments below. Uh, and as always, you can download the preset for free. The link is in the description below. And if you want to join me on my live streams, you can do so on Twitch. I stream under the username VHB. That's T-H-E-E -E underscore H-B. So please feel free to join me, ask questions. I'm always down to help. And I guess I will see you guys next time.